Hello, you may have seen the problem of finding the equation of a line tangent to the graph of a function at a point on the function graph. Today, you'll see a problem like that, but with a twist. In this video, I will outline how you can find the equations of tangent lines to the graph of a function that intersects at a point outside the fraction graph. The twist on this tangent line problem is that you don't know what points the tangent lines are tangent to the graph of the function itself. The function you'll be looking at is given by the equation y equals x squared minus x minus 6, we will find the tangent lines to the graph of the fraction at the point 1 comma negative 9. As I imply in the problem statement, there is not just one tangent line to the function graph that passes through the point 1, comma, negative 9. Calculus tells us that the slopes of our tangent lines will be given by the derivative of the function. The function is a polynomial function and so its derivative can be found by using the power rule on each term. I will now show you the derivative of the function. To write the equations of our tangent lines, we'll use the point-slope equation of a line. We call the point-slope equation of a line is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1, where m is the, is the slope of uh, the line and x sub 1 and y sub 1 are coordinates of a point that the line passes through. As I mentioned before, the slopes of our tangent lines are given by the derivative of the function. So we have point slope equation m equals 2x minus 1. We also know that we want our tangent lines to pass through the point 1 comma negative 9. This means that x sub 1 equals 1 and y sub 1 equals negative 9. Substituting these values into our point slope equation, you get the equation for our tangent lines. I will show you this equation. It seems that one problem with the equation we will use to write our tangent lines is that it isn't a linear equation. Remember that our tangent lines 
a tangent to the graph of the function y equals x squared minus x minus 6. That means that the equation that we found using point slope and the equation for our function are really a system of equations. We can solve this system for x values that will give number values to the slopes of our tangent lines. Recall again that the slopes of our tangent lines are given by the derivative of our function y prime equals 2x minus 1. To solve this system, a good first step is to take the expression for y in the top equation and substitute it. In for y in the bottom equation, this will leave us with one equation in x. On the next two sheets, I'm about to show you, I'll take you through the algebra to solve our equation from the last sheet for x. Recall that the point slope equation we found for our tangent lines is y plus 9 equals 2x minus 1 times x minus 1, where the quantity 2x minus 1 gives us the slopes of our two tangent lines for the right values of x. Now that we have those x values, we can write the two tangent lines equations that are the solution to this problem. At this point, we already have the equations for our tangent lines. The only thing left to do is to use algebra to clean up those equations a little bit. I will now show you the simplified tangent lines equation. That's the end of our solution to this problem. Thanks for watching. If you would like to view this solution again, or would like to view solutions to other math problems, please check out my dad's website at, at themathking.com.